Okay, so this is part four of uh, making the castle. And uh, so let's make this inside uh, block, uh, the biggest part of the castle. I'll just rotate this back. Yeah, so this should be easy. Uh, the first thing we can do is, uh, uh, because uh, they are using this, we're going to be using the same wall here. Uh, we can just select these two. Uh, instead of uh, making an instance, using alt d we are going to use shift d because we're going to make a few changes to this here so let's move it around maybe scale it down a bit because uh, this here is smaller than this so it should be able to fit inside there maybe you need to scale this around there And uh, this, so if we go to the curve, this here should go all the way in to around there. Then we need to subdivide. You can also add more control points by just holding down Alt and then a uh, right mouse click if you're using uh, the new setup of uh, right click to select. So, okay, that will not add it to the. It will just make a duplicate uh, vertex. It won't subdivide the entire. Uh, the edge we want to sub so just select these two vertices and then right click to subdivide then these needs these are three vertices need to be in a straight line like that and uh, this here I think we can change to aligned and uh, we can move this So we just need to make this curved. Let's see if we. I think that's good enough. So we just need to scale this. Uh, not scale. We need to move these up. Let's for side this. To to around. So let's try using this as the reference. Yes, I think that's the that's a good height. So we just need to move this. I'm sure I'm not. I'm still not sure why this is taller in object mode than it is in edit mode. But uh, again, it's not uh, that big of an issue. So let's see what is happening on the other side. Okay, so good, 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 good. I think we can also scale this a bit uh, because they appear to be bigger than the bottom ones. And uh, this needs to start off around here uh, because we're going to be using the mirror modifier so 
something like that. So we just need to use Alt D. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Can let's see. If, can I use a mirror modifier here? No, I don't think it would work. Oh, it actually works. Uh, so instead of just making a copy, uh, we can use a mirror modifier after the curve and uh, add, let's say, an empty to control the position of the mirror. So let's put it here and uh, select this as the mirror object. So it will be around there. And uh, we can also delete this copy here and do the same for this mirror. Again, use this as the mirror object and we should be good to go is our castle. You see we don't we didn't even have to make these again. Boom, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is our image? So we have made this this so we need to add this ring here to add uh, that detail. So for that, we can just uh, borrow uh, one of these. Uh, uh, use Shift D to duplicate, and then make sure you're also duplicating the curve as well. Um, but uh, these ones are too big, so we can scale them down like this and uh, just move them in the x axis. Into something like that. Make sure there is no intersection anywhere. Oh, we are good. <coughs> Let's see if I scale this like that. Again, we can, uh, let's see, if we made a copy, let's go to edit mode. Let's see, if we duplicated this, maybe scaled it down a bit. And uh, just make sure that uh, these here are connected you know what no i think just having one is also not bad 
uh, we just need to move it up a bit around there and uh, again we can add another mirror modifier and select uh, this as our object mirror object to have bit on the opposite side like that and uh, since this ring goes also around here you just need to go to edit mode of this curve hit alt c to open up the curve uh, we need to rotate it back to position uh, we need to change this to vector Select V vector, bring this here, then extrude to around there. <laughs> or to make our lives more easier, let me see where the center of this is. I guess we can use this as the object so you can delete this curve and uh, select this curve here cursor to selected then move this object to that curve and select that curve as our object as our curve object so what is the name of this curve Bezier curve 2, just get it in the list here. I don't know why it has that scaling issue. Can't really know what the problem with that is. So let me just see. Let's see. Let's see. Now, right, let me undo this and. Uh, Just use our curve, this curve here. Um, you can go to edit mode. What I'll do, I'll first make these extrusions. Scale Y, move this around there. Let me isolate this first. Alt C, select this Alt C, and we wrote, I will connect this, delete this vertex, then connect it to this, like. J, F, mm. I don't remember, F us usually connects at two faces, two vertices, but I'm not sure what, why it's not working now. So let's uh, extrude and then scale y these two should be vector and uh, we can let we can move this around then we can bring this You just need to increase the count a bit. Huh. Actually, we need to use this curve because it goes around. Uh, this ring is supposed to go around the entire castle. So, yeah, we just need to use the same curve and figure out why 
is scaling in the in the different axis so need to change this we need to change uh, this here let me make sure this is recording uh, we need to change uh, what uh, this to fit curve and then select uh, this curve as the object and uh, in the deformer we need to select again the same curve as the deform object now we just need to scale this a few times let's see I scale this scale this first let's po position this shift s cursor to selected selection to cursor mm, then what's not working now I'm not sure what's going on. I'll, I'll clear that in the next uh, lesson. Uh, so yeah.